Hello, I'm Gloria Sanrucci, Event Director for Pure London. I'm here today in the Hive Studio with Sebastian, Creative Director at Promosteel and Malaika as well from Promosteel. So today, I really would like to chat to you about trends and the importance of the trends that have got in our life and then into fashion. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions today as I really love your insight. And to start with, I'd like to ask you, well, how do you piece trends together at Promosteel and how do you actually spot a developing trend? Okay. So to find trends, we work with a team of fashion designers of, of all sectors, sports, kids, men, women, and also some psychologists and sociologists. Um, then we study the society. Um, we observe um, the cultural, um, political, and sociological phenomenon, and we traduce it in mega trends and then in seasonal trends. Mm. Um, we work also first with uh, the archetype of Carl Jung. Um, Carl Jung was a psychologist in, uh, in the 50s, in the middle of the 50s, and he um, done a mapping of, uh, of peoples. And so this is our basic, our base. And so the tr uh, trends are influence these archetypes and create some new behavior, some new needs. And so we um, translate it into uh, creative tracks, volumes, colors, etc., cetera, et cetera. Mm, Interesting. And if you look at fashion and, uh, you know, our community that we bring together at Pure, what should retailers be aware of when buying on trends? And why it is so important to do so? Um, the more, it's very important that the retailer um, has to know perfectly uh, their customer, their target. Um, you know, um, people, um, human, the particularity of, of a human is to adapt to his time. And so uh, that's why trend is important. The, the trend is a response to that. That's why um, retailers uh, have to buy trends. That's great, and because I guess then if the retailers buy according to what the consumers actually want to see in their shops, then that retailer will always be relevant, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's just like um, when working from home became kind of like the normal way of life. You could see that in the shops you still have the work suit going on, but with a way yeah. more casual touch yeah, to it. So you're going to have the blazer at the top and like maybe kind of the tracks <laughs> at the bottom. That's basically me today, for yes, instance. Yes, yes. Um, or when we started needing more comfort and, and everything like that, we started to see a lot of like perfect jackets, gigantic coats, very soft and light fabrics. So that's pretty much it. Like when you're buying, try to take into account how your costume has maybe evolved, like, compared to the previous season mm. and focus on the needs of what they're actually looking for and what they actually want. And you can just go from there. Absolutely. And there's also, yeah, one last point, there's also now in our day and age, focus on the values of your customers as well, because we've, in fashion, we've tried to become a bit more conscious, mm. a bit more ethical. So it has become a huge part of buying. If, if you're not thinking about this when you're buying, you're kind of making a bit of a mistake. Absolutely, absolutely. And also for brands, when, when look at trends to develop their product range, what is the best way to select trends that will resonate with a particular target audience? Okay, um, what is really good about trends is that they usually are just an evolution of a previous one. <laughs> Mm. It's basically the same mm. thing, but um, in a new way. So what you should do is just look at those trends that have been working for a while and study them, their growth, make sure that they haven't been overused and overdone and try to come up with a new way to use them. And you can just start from there. Uh, a good example of that would probably be Y2K. That kind oh, of yes. like, yeah, it kind of kicked off as a joke that it was like just full nostalgia. And now you can see, I think for like four seasons straight now, you've seen people like experimenting with it 
all around in all types of ways. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's just that. Just take the trends that exist, make them evolve, focus on like the details that are important in them and go from there, basically. And then you can just make it work for you. Very exciting and so fascinating, so interesting. <laughs> what you guys do at Promo Steel is really something that um, really is important for our community. And what a lot of our content that we will develop and uh, our audience will be able to find at Pure next season will be about trends. Yes. And I am very delighted actually that we have um, selected and chosen a particular trend for autumn winter. Uh, well, the show will take place next February from the 12th to the 14th, but the trends that you guys are going to present are the trends for the year ahead. Yes. So that will be autumn winter 24 slash 25. Yeah. And we have actually chosen a trend, um, nobleness, that is mm. actually inspired by what you guys do at Promo Steel. Um, and nobleness will be the key theme that will be uh, filtered throughout the show next February. Can you Tell us a little bit more about what is nobleness, the trend nobleness, without disclosing too much. Yes, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> there is a back of tradition and, uh, and the British savoir-faire. Uh, all over the world, you know, not only in England, but all over the world, because um, you are the owner of this savoir-faire. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, it starts there for sure. So, which is why it's probably very interesting that you guys uh, went for that one, not even knowing that the UK were kind of like the basis uh, inspiration. Um, the other good thing about nobleness is that it doesn't just stay stuck in the past and on the classics, but it's kind of like revisiting those. Um, a good, like one example that comes to mind in, in the trend and the way we studied it was the campus life but on all school campus, so think um, Oxford, Cambridge, yes. but it would be for the new generation, yes. basically. And even if it's not the new generation, even if it's all uh, older con consumers, um, they would want to look a bit more lively, you know, they don't want to be too traditional, but the inspiration definitely lies in this. So you're obviously going to have, like, you know, like the classic, for instance, Chanel suit or stuff like that, or you're going to have, like, places of houses and, and very much signs of um, riches and status that are included in there, but what just way younger. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you, Malaika, for joining me today here at the Hive Studio. And thank you, everybody, for joining us today.